We see Jin Yang quarantine station. They spray something on a truck. A man complains about this spraying killing his pig's livestock. At this rate of his livestock's deaths, he'll die one day as well. Another man says, nothing like this is gonna happen. He gets on his way. His phone rings. He tries to pick it up while driving and hits something. It's a deer and it's probably dead. He just observes and leaves without doing anything. But here on the road, it feels like the deer is still alive and its eyes are kind of weird. In a stock company's office, we see a man talking on a call to his boss. He calls Kim inside. He reads the news about strange mass deaths of fish in the Jinyang River. Kim is here. The boss tells him to sell all the shares. Kim warns him about its risks and impacts on small traders. The boss asks him to do as he says and asks him about what kids like nowadays. In the parking lot, he's on his phone with his wife, talking about his daughter. He screams at her. She asks him to bring her to her for her birthday. He takes two bags from his car. A woman is peeling something and gets up to welcome her son. He asks about Susan. Under the blanket, she's talking to someone about picking her up from the station. He knocks. He asks why she cut the phone when he came. While acknowledging her desire to meet her mother, he'll take her there next week since this week is busy. He gives her a birthday gift. She's not surprised to see it at all and looks at the table. It's already here. He gave it to her last Christmas already. She wants to go to Busan to see her mama. She wants to go tomorrow and tells him that if he doesn't have time, she will go alone. The mother asks about him being busy and going to Busan tomorrow. He'll go. She asks him to talk to his wife as he's going anyway. He says he'll try, but can't keep everyone pleased. He didn't attend Susan's poetry competition. The mother leaves. He turns on the camera to watch her competition. She is singing well until she forgets the next lines. Teachers and kids clap. They're on their way. She is talking to her mama. She plays with the windows. He appreciates her performance at the poem competition. He tells her to do everything with her whole heart. That's when success happens. He suddenly breaks as emergency fire and police vehicles pass. There's ash in the air. She catches it and looks outside where a building is on fire. At the central train station, the train for Busan is on the trail and ready to depart. Train hostesses guide passengers. The captain is here. He gets to his seat. One of the staff asks Hai Young to fix her scarf. There's a baseball team here. A girl, Jenny, is here. She's their cheerleader. Boys invite her, but she sits with a specific boy. She says to him that now he has to admit that she's not gonna leave him alone. The boys shout loudly to accept her. He puts on a cap and sleeps. A sister peels an egg for her probably older or younger sister. The boss is here. Kim is on the phone to inform him that a lot of calls are coming today and there has been a strike. They reach their seats. A girl suddenly enters the train. She seems injured. The train man signals the host to close the doors. As he walks back, he sees a crowd of people. The train departs, and Susan, looking through the window, sees someone getting onto the train man. She sees him, but he's already sleeping. The train slowly increases its speed. The leg of that girl is getting sick. She's saying she doesn't want to die. A man asks the steward to check the gent's toilet for someone insane being on the train. They knock, and as it opens, Susan is standing there. He asks for his ticket. He is saying that all died and laughs. The man asks Susan not to be like him when she grows up. She replies, her mama has taught her to help the homeless and poor. She stares at him. That girl is walking among cabins and falls across the door. Susan gets to another cabin's toilets. A man standing there asks her to use another toilet since his wife is in here. The steward girl sees and reports a medical emergency in cabin 11 on the walkie. The boss receives a call. Kim says everything is bad here and that the strike is not something simple. The whole country is under it. He notices the stewards and tells them to call him later and gets up. Those sisters are watching the news and presenting their opinions on today's degenerate youth. Here, the girl stops trembling. The steward asks for staff, but the walkie is out. Behind her, the girl has become something like a zombie. The steward sees behind. The girl is growling. The steward is going for her while passing the toilets. She gets in. Two players are fighting for fun. They immediately stop as a girl eating the steward passes. They don't know what's happening but get an idea when they see her bloody mouth. She attacks the players. The steward has turned. The host is on his way. He gets there. People are running. He falls among the seats and observes the steward zombie one foot away. The players fight the zombies and run behind towards other cabins. He informs them about people killing each other. The boss checks the toilet. Susan is in another one. Upon hearing screams, she sees people running outside. He's behind a few cabins. People are turning. 
The zombie steward gets his friend in front of him and all the people present in the cabin. They immediately turn after bites. They're thirsty for blood. He takes Susan and runs. The zombie flood is on them. They go through many cabins, facing zombies from both sides. A fat man and his wife are out. They are just a cabin away from the boss. The wife asks him to help her. It attacks him. The girl is turning. He asks Shelly to run out of here. She runs out of here while he stays. News is showing the same situations everywhere as here. They all scream to close the door. Right in the face of the survivors, he closes the door. Man fights zombies, by force gets in and closes the door. He asks for its lock. The boss says let it go, they don't know how to open it. If they're not seen, they'll stop. Shelly covers the window with paper. Man in a suit asks about what happened to all of them. Man asks the boss to apologize to them for leaving them there to die. The boss says it's not his responsibility to save all. Shelly stops him from fighting. The captain on the speaker informs all that due to incidents on the train, it will not stop at Cheonan Station and asks them to be seated. A man gets to the captain and asks him that despite knowing about what's happening in the back cabins, why is he not stopping? He replies he has orders from the main command. Shelly is pregnant. Mom is on the call. She asks and tells him that there are fights everywhere. Her voice is not usual. She asks him to take care of Susan and starts growling slowly. After a few seconds, he knows what has happened to her. He doesn't know what to say to Susan. The train suddenly breaks and slows down. A lot of people outside are asking to be taken in. All of them are being eaten by zombies one by one. They witness the apocalypse.